Fuck breakfast, she gon' eat me up and swallow me. I'm like, yeah, my ex bitch don't let me, but she still follow me cause I'm lit. And my enemies shooting in the air like hell, man. You ready to fight? Ready. Big fight for here in Chicago, Illinois. We are inside United Center. The house that Michael Jordan built will be back in the Midwest where there are droves of mixed martial arts. You know, John, championships are won in this building. You see the Michael Jordan statue out front. You know that it's something special. The fans are in for something special tonight. It's going to be loud tonight in Chicago, Illinois. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. A great single. He takes it for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. Two minutes have gone by. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Takes his back now. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out, he got out. Great job defensively by the fight. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start. Now he's masterful from here. as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. It's so dangerous because you're one inch away from getting slept. 
but he's so comfortable and confident in there. His nose is all quick level cheap. Oh! oh my God, he switched the ball to a high cross rotating on the two for a ride. That was a big takedown. That kick there. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Just over three minutes to go. What a beautiful jab landing there. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. There's a left hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's opening up on him now. Oh, oh, perfect body shot there. He's over. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. being applied here as he works out of side control. Back mount now. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun, and hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't go with me. No. Oh. And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.